Hello there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this fall wrap up of Darlings and Duds. Today I have a mixture of products, not just makeup this time. I've got some skincare, nail polish, clothes, some shoes. So we've got a little more of a variety than normal and I do have a couple of duds that really didn't work out for me. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's just jump right into it. Let's start first at skincare. Several months ago, some of you alerted me to the fact that you could no longer find online my Alafia Everyday Coconut Toner that I have used and loved for years. I went into panic mode and I could not find it either. I contacted the company and guess what? It's been discontinued. Yes, another one of those products, why? I did request very strongly with the company that they bring it back, but in the meantime, we need a new toner. So I went on the hunt and I am happy to tell you I have found a really good replacement. Similar price point, it's at the drugstore. You might have to get this particular scent online, but it is the Thayer's Witch Hazel. The important part about this, number one, is it's alcohol-free, and this is the coconut one. So it has the coconut scent. Actually, it has more of a coconut scent than this one does. The ingredients are slightly different, but I feel like this performs the same because it's alcohol-free and it has glycerin and coconut in it. It's not drying on the skin. The scent is fantastic. The only thing I hate is that this just has a regular old dropper top on it. So what you wanna do, if you still have this around, when you finish this one, just take this cap, put it on there, and voila. You have a very similar toner and I have really, really, really been enjoying this. You can see I've actually used about half of it since I found it because I really wanted to make sure it was a good replacement for this one and I'm happy to say that it is. Next up for nails. Now I'm not wearing this particular polish on my nails because I've been wearing it in several other videos. I wanted to give you all a break, but it is this one from Zoya. It's called Murphy and it is just the most beautiful kind of murky olive green with shimmer. I have this on my toes at the present. I love this. From the first time I put it on my nails, I was just saying to myself late at night, oh my word, this is so pretty, I love this. So if you're looking for a green, but not really overtly green polish that will really kind of look more neutral, but could really get you through the holiday season, I think this is a great option. Let's move into some hair products. Now, I received these probably last summer and I tried them a couple times, but I really didn't give them a good test until I went on vacation. What are they? They are the Kitsch Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner Bars. Oh my goodness. These were such a shock to me. I was so prepared not to like these at all because it is literally a bar that you either rub directly on your hair or you can rub it in your hands and lather it, put it on. But I took these on my trip because I was trying to minimize the amount of liquids in my suitcases in case I needed to carry on one of my suitcases. This is a great solution. So I thought, all right, I'm gonna give these a real good test. It was when I went to New York and on a cruise. I used these every day, so I was gone about 12 days and this is how much is left of the shampoo, and I did use it a few times before, and then the conditioner bar, I have quite a lot. I did purchase some individual little kind of travel cases for them, and so those were a little bulky in my suitcase, but that aside, I didn't have to worry about leaks. It was really easy to just leave the top off throughout the day, let them dry out, and I have been so impressed of how these make my hair feel. I was not prepared to have my hair feel softer and smoother, but after using these every time, I was just surprised. And these cleaned, this shampoo cleaned my hair, all the gunk out, all the Enjoy Dry Wax, all the hairspray, and the, the conditioner was really good. I had more blonde in my hair at the time, and it really conditioned it well. So this is the Rice Water Protein one. They have lots of other options. I've not tried those yet, but they have a white tea and mandarin scent. Because they're in a bar, you're not getting the plastic. You can just leave them in a soap dish. This is one from Kitsch also. Leave them on a soap dish 
in your shower. They also have like a, a bag that you can hang it in your shower. So they've come up with some really great solutions to travel with these and to use them on a daily basis. But overall, great ingredients, really, really good for your hair. They both are color safe, pH balanced, they're vegan. They really do great things for your hair and really, really great for travel. So I know many of you are getting ready to travel for the holidays. These would be great to take with you. All right, one pair of shoes. Several of you asked me because in one of my vlogs, I was trying on boots, trying to find the perfect pair of short boots to take on my trip. And I did find the perfect pair. I wore these like crazy on my trip and I'm wearing them since. These are by Naturalizer. And I chose these that have a little bit of a heel. They are super squishy, cushy inside. They're not leather, but they look like it. And the greatest thing is they are waterproof. So I wore these in New York when it was literally flooding. They rained like cats and dogs. My feet were as dry as can be, and I was so thrilled. They have great traction on them, and they I think they're super cute. Work with boot cut jeans or skinny jeans or rolled jeans, so another great recommendation. And one clothing item that I own in now five colors. I'll show you three of them, but it is a top that actually you've seen in a couple of videos. It's from Amazon, and I don't know about you, but it's hit or miss for me with fashion on Amazon, and these were definitely a hit. My friend Laura had ordered one, told me about them, and I love them. The thing I love is it's basically like a fancy t-shirt. They're super comfortable. This particular one has a kind of short, modest v-neck, so you don't have to wear anything underneath it if you don't want to. And I love the ruffle and the stretch on around the wrist. I think that just makes it look super cute and like you're not wearing a t-shirt. And the length on these is actually quite long. It's longer in the back. I personally love that because I like to do a half tuck, tuck in the front in my jeans and these work well. They stay tucked in and they do come in a gazillion colors and several prints. So highly, highly recommend. This is the, I think dark pink and then kind of a teal green. I have black and I have one print also. Moving into makeup, let's start off with a couple of duds. Some things that really didn't work out for me. <laughs> Number one, and I just, I think I'm always looking for that magic brow product that's gonna make filling in my brows so much easier and something that maybe I don't have to do every day. Yeah, this is not it. <laughs> so this is the NYX Zero to Brow Long Wear Brow Gel. So the idea behind this, is that it's kind of like a doe foot, actually it is a doe foot applicator, a very small one, it's liquid. You're supposed to be able to first brush up your brows and then paint this on. It's gonna fill in your brows and it's gonna hold your brows, stay in place. This is waterproof, transfer resistant. I'll say I didn't feel like it transferred, so that would be a good thing. It does dry down, it does kind of make your brows stick. But it's just, it's too watery of a formula, really, if you have any amount of gaps in your brows. Like, if you just need a little bit of extra boost and hold, this might work for you. But for somebody like me who actually needs some shaping help and has some larger areas where you need fill in, I don't know. This just did not work for me. So I just... It's not worth it. And the other kind of big dud, and I want to mention it because it was so expensive, I've already returned it, but I showed it in my Sephora haul, and it is this face and eye palette from Pat McGrath. The blushes in there, I will say, were probably my favorite part of that palette. However, when I went to go do eye looks with that palette, I realized that three of the four matte shades in there basically looked the same on the eyes. In a swatch, you could kind of see a slight distinction between, between the shades, but on the eyes, they all read the same. And when I did looks with it, I had to pull in another palette or two to get a complete look. It didn't have a brow bone highlight shade. It didn't have inner corner shade. And the shimmers on the lid just did not perform up to the par of a typical Pat McGrath eyeshadow. So I was really disappointed and for the price tag, that's what put it kind of at one of the bottom duds for me over the last couple months. Now moving into some of my favorite things that I tried. Let's go to lips first. 
I feel like I have talked about these so many times in recent videos, but I want to do it because this is limited edition and you need to get them now. They are the Ulta collection. This is called the Gallery Lip Edition. There are six shades. I'll link down below the video where I swatch them all. I won't do that for you, but these are fantastic and every shade in this collection is different. You know, sometimes you get those collections and you're like, okay, that's kind of the same color. Mm, that might be slightly off. These are all very different. You have three kind of lighter to mid color, mid neutrals, and then you've got three that definitely, I mean, this is more neutral, but it's deeper and then you're bright and you have red. I have a little bit of this red on underneath something else on my lips. And the formula on these, they're not a matte lipstick, but they're not slippery. They don't slide right off. I feel like you get decent wear time with these. The packaging is beautiful. And the price, the regular price for the whole kit is $16. So run out to Ulta, get online, <laughs> buy one of these sets for yourself. You could split it up at Christmas time. I just think these are fantastic. The other lip product I want to talk about is also a limited edition holiday set, and it's the Tarte Maracuja Lip Set. Now this comes in, I think it's split up something like this. So it comes in two different giftable sets, or you can keep the whole set or give the whole set, whatever you decide to do. Now on my lips right now, I blotted off a little bit of this color and I went in with the reason why I bought this whole set, which is this shade called Rosy Copper. I just love it. And I love it on its own, but it's also a beautiful, beautiful topper. These do have a cooling sensation. So this one is the plumper. And so it, it feels cooling on the lips, but it's not stingy. It's not painful. It's just a really nice cooling sensation. Now in the kit, I was a little confused and I heard from one of my friends, a little confused. You see like three, three of them are named figs. So you think you're getting the same. You're not. You're actually getting four different formulations, two of which are fig, but one is the shift. So it, according to your pH balance in your system, it can kind of shift colors. And then the other one is just the straight up fig color. We have a lipstick cream, which also pairs well with this rosy copper shade. So I just think this is a great, great way to try all four of the different types of the Maracuja lips. They're not super long lasting, like it's not going to stay on your lips for hours and hours, but I also don't feel like it slips and slides right off. So I think there's decent wear time, definitely a lot of hydration and tons of shine. All right, let's go to brows because I do have one brow product and I talked about this again in one of my previous tutorials or get ready with me. And it is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Micro Pencil. I've actually just gone out and purchased a new one. I used up a whole one of these. It's the only downside, you go through it fast, but I'm telling you, this has been the secret for me to either add kind of fine hair-like strokes here at the front or just to quickly fill in the gaps in my brows without getting my brows really full and bushy. I was feeling like my brows were looking too strong. And as I was packing for my trip, I remembered I had one of these in my stash to try, but I had never tried it, pulled it out, used it on my whole vacation and loved it. I felt like it was really easy to use, especially for a real daytime brow real quick. So I've continued using it, loving it. It pairs well with the regular, the uh, regular brow power universal that I used to use all the time, still use that. But I just think the fine tip on here is unlike most brow pencils out there, it's flat, but tiny. And so you really can get hair like strokes, love it. All right, we're gonna move into eyeshadow because I feel like I've been on this eyeshadow palette kick and there are three palettes. There's another one I'm gonna mention in a different kind of category, but there's three palettes just by themselves that I just really fell in love with and when I got each one of them, I couldn't put them down. And so I'm gonna start with the first one that I got, could not put down, and that was the Disney Beauty and the Beast. This whole collection is beautiful, but the eyeshadow palette, and I'll talk about the brushes in a second, are my standout favorites. The packaging is just beautiful. It's still nice and compact, but sturdy. 
that comes with a dual ended brush, which I absolutely love. And this is the color scheme in here. At first I thought, oh, that's gonna be a boring palette. And then I got into it and I realized the way that they added color to this palette was very smart because you can do a nice neutral look, but then you've got this navy blue, you've got a really nice olive, you have this kind of duochrome pink peach color, pink rosy copper color, you've got purple here, a purple shimmer, and then you've got a really nice vibrant kind of berry shade, this red shade, and all of these look different on the eyes. And I have so enjoyed the looks I've done with this palette. I do have a tutorial using this and I am planning to do a 311 with this palette. So I know several of you requested that. I am planning it because I think there's just so many options. The formulation on Sigma Shadows over the years has just gotten better and better. And I think this palette is no exception. It is amazing quality and just beautiful. The next palette, I was not prepared to love as much as I did because I do like to have palettes that have a little more variety of color. But when I saw this palette being released, I was like, you know, I loved the full size. Let's buy the smaller size. What is it? It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. So they have released this nine pan version of their previous 14 pan Sultry palette. And the colors that they put in here are just so so beautiful and perfect for everyday looks. I've talked about this several times, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. This shade right here, one of my absolute favorite inner corner highlights, and just all of the shades in here are very, very pigmented, but not super powdery. I feel like in the past, ABH shadows were very dusty, and I feel like they've done a much better job. They've done something to how they pack these in here. They're still just as pigmented, but they don't kick up a lot of powder in the pan. So I have really enjoyed this palette. It's a really great one for travel, nice and sturdy, nice magnetic closure. Now, as I'm going through these palettes, I haven't told you exactly what I'm wearing on my eyes. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait purposely till I get through these three and let you guess which one I'm wearing. So definitely love this one. I mean, of course it could be what I'm wearing, but let's just wait because there's one more palette. This is the newest one that I've added to my collection but I have really, really enjoyed this palette. It is the Pretty Grunge Huda Beauty Palette. I did just do a full review with swatches, so check that video. But the colors in here, again, we have such a nice variety. We do have some lighter kind of tan brown tones, but then it goes really cool and slightly plummy. Not all out purple, although in the try on video, I did do a pretty purpley look with this palette. I loved it, but I really enjoyed this. This one only has four shimmers. So if you're somebody who loves a lot of matte shadows overall, this is a really good one. I feel like this is a great companion to the Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette. That was in my previous Darlings and Duds video, but I just, I have equally been really enjoying this palette as well. So now that I've gone through all three, just take a quick guess. What palette of those three do you think I am wearing on my eyes today? I feel like I've got a very neutral, very daytime appropriate look here. I did kind of wing out my shadow a little bit on the outer edge, but what do you think? What is it? Drum roll, please. I am wearing the Pretty Grunge palette, yes. So, you know, initially you look at this and think it's dark, deep, smoky looks, that's all you can get, but I feel like you can get really nice, nice natural daytime looks. And this color in particular is one of my favorites. That's what's on the lid. On the inner corner, I did put a little bit of this shade from the Sultry palette. That's my favorite inner corner highlight, but overall really enjoyed those eyeshadow palettes. Okay, yeah. so this next, Darling is kind of a compilation of a set of makeup and the experience I had with it. So I've never done this before. Hey, it's my channel. I can do what I want, right? So what this is, so over the last couple of months, I had a great opportunity to go to New York and go on a cruise. That was definitely one of the highlights of this last couple of months of the year, really, because it's been a long time since I've done a big vacation like that. 
but also equally amazing, I got to have the first ever, I went to my first ever PR event with a beauty brand, a major beauty brand that I've used for years. And I was so excited to go. I was honestly a little nervous though, cause I didn't know a soul. And it was my first ever event. I had to drive to LA. I won't go into all the details here. I'll save that for another video, but it was the Laura Geller Wheel of Fortune. It was a launch event with Vanna White herself. We got pictures with Vanna White. We got to stay for the taping of two of the Wheel of Fortune episodes. And I got to sit right next to Laura Geller herself for one of those episodes. And let me just tell you, she is the sweetest, most down to earth woman, but she is fierce and she is such a hard worker. Oh my word. I can't even imagine what her days look like, but this collection, it released a couple days before this event and I was sent the whole collection and it came in a wheel box. It was just so fun and whimsical. I love pretty packaging. I love really luxuriant packaging, but I think sometimes as adults, we miss out on just some fun whimsy. I think sometimes we take ourselves too seriously. And I love that the queen of glamour herself, Anna White, really embraced this collection and it's like this is another side of who she is. She is just so down to earth herself. And this eyeshadow palette, it was one of the first I tried from Laura Geller that wasn't like in the baked formula. Really nice shadows, really good color compilation. It does lean very warm, but I've gotten some really good neutral looks out of this palette and that olive green's beautiful. And then this blush palette, at first I was like, mm, it's not her baked formula. I'm sure I'm not gonna like it. This is fantastic, oh my goodness. And these blushes are so pigmented. So you have four matte blushes and then in the center is kind of like a glowy highlighter-ish kind of type of product. So the other, I don't, one of the other favorites in that collection for me was the eyeshadow stick. I had never tried any of Laura Geller's eyeshadow sticks, cream eyeshadows. This is so good. I have a little bit of this on my lower lash line this sets and stays it's super creamy this particular shade i don't know if it is exclusive to the wheel of fortune collection but it's so pretty it's kind of a nice taupey brown with a little bit of a metallic finish on there it's just great fantastic wears well so i have really enjoyed that collection and just the whole experience was just so fun. I felt very privileged to be able to join in that fun day. Now, another amazing release from Laura Geller that I was able to try out over the last couple of months are the serum blushes. And I have one of these on my cheeks today. Now, this is another thing I have done in a get ready with me. I've tried them on for you, so I won't swatch them all here. But three of my favorite colors are Blushing Berry, I mean, really, really beautiful. Practical Pink. This one is so pretty. It's a nice, nice kind of mix of a little bit of pink, but it's more on the mauve kind of cooler tone, but it still shows up well on the cheeks. And then the one that I am wearing here is called Graceful Guava. And today was actually the first time I had worn this shade. It's so pretty. Now, it's important to know about these. They are a serum blush. So when you first put them on, one of the great things is that you can literally tap these in with your finger. That's what happened to me when I first tried these on with you all. I couldn't find my brush and I'm like, well, let's just tap it in. I was like, wow, that was so easy. So you can definitely do that. But what I recommend doing, especially with these brighter colors, is do it on the back of your hand, then take your brush, swirl it there and tap on your cheeks. Because it's a serum blush, it has some hydration in there. You don't want to risk disturbing your foundation underneath and that is the way to ensure that you don't. Also, it gives you much more control with these brighter, deeper colors. And I would say the colors, because they are a serum, I would go slightly darker and deeper than you think you might need because they do blend out so easily and they sheer out when they get on your cheeks. But I have really enjoyed these. They come with a spare top on them because you know, these kind of foam tips can over time start getting kind of gross. So I appreciate that she includes that. So highly recommend if you're in the market for a new easy to use serum blush. Two highlighter colors are from the same company. So I'm, I'm counting this as one product, but these highlighters from What's Up Beauty, they're the Serengeti highlighters. 
These are beautiful. Each one has two different shades. So this is the darker one of the two. This is actually the one I am wearing a little bit of super smooth formula really gives the cheeks kind of a nice wet look without any visible shimmer particles. And then the other one is this one. So this is probably what I'm gonna be using as we go into winter and my skin is a little bit lighter in tone, but super smooth, super buttery. This brand overall is a really good kind of indie brand, a newer brand, they're based in Arizona and their packaging on everything is just so pretty. And I really feel like their products are very good quality. So highly, highly recommend, have really enjoyed those. All right, another cheek favorite this month was from the brand Flight 70. They sent me a couple of products from their line and this is a newer brand to my knowledge. Their focus is more on mature skin, but this bronzer, it's called the Color Back Burnished Bronze in Vacation, and I love this. I am wearing this on my cheeks also over the top of that blush. It's kind of that perfect either all-in-one type of product. You can just use this. I did that in a recent video. Because it has this mixture of colors, you can just swipe your brush across and you get just the most beautiful, bronzy, kind of blushed cheek look. I love how they call it color back, so get the color back into your cheeks. Or you can concentrate your brush a little more in the color and kind of add a little more peachy, rosy tones to it. It has just a nice satin finish, no shimmer particles. I don't know, I've just really enjoyed this. And again, it's one of those great products if you're in a hurry, all in one cheek, super slim packaging, travels well, definitely recommend. All right, and last up, I think we are to the end here. I want to give mention to another item from the Beauty and the Beast collection, and it is this brush set. I hope it's still available individually, but not only is the bag just gorgeous and huge and really good quality, but these brushes are so beautiful. They're all dirty because I've been using them, <laughs> but Sigma brushes are some of my favorites. And I feel like these three in particular are new shapes and possibly new brushes to their line as, as a whole. But I just, think these are such quality brushes. And so if you're looking for a new pared down brush set, this is a great one. Be sure you check the description box down below this video, hit where it says more, hit more again. You'll see a list of everything that I showed you today and links of where you can shop. I'll also leave links to the various videos that I referenced throughout. So if you're curious to see full swatches of these eyeshadow palettes, see them in action, see the get ready with me's where I try these things on. Those will be helpful to you. As always, I so appreciate you being here and watching. I have lots of fun things planned for December holiday home tour. I'm in full Christmas swing here. I am going to be doing a baking video again. I also am doing four new Sunday songs for December. So if you love Christmas piano music, tune in each Sunday through December so you can hear some new Christmas music. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.